Alright guys, so I was gonna wait a little bit before I said anything, but uh, these are just some quick first impressions about these Sony, really long name, but the really expensive Bluetooth noise cancellation headphones. So um, I just turned on the, uh, the noise cancellation mode and oh my god. Let me show you exactly how it feels. Like I'm gonna turn off the audio correction that I did right now so you'll hear the sound unedited right now. And then when I put these on, you're gonna hear how it sounds. The level of noise cancellation that these have is like maybe a little bit above the Bose QC35s, but I haven't tried them in a while and I don't have them on me just to like compare them side by side. But, um, yeah, these blew my mind. And not to mention, like, these are just my initial thoughts. Like, number one, the noise cancellation is awesome. And I'm talking about, like, I'm not playing any music at the same time. I just turned on the noise cancellation. And because I have a lot of ambient noise going on right now, I thought that it would be a good way to test it out. And, um, yeah, it works. Like, I can barely hear my own footsteps when I'm walking around with these on. Like, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. And then the hum from the water cooler that you guys are hearing right now, I can't hear it at all. Well, those are just my quick impressions on the noise cancellation. I was watching Netflix on the Apple TV because you can use Bluetooth on your Apple TV to connect Bluetooth devices. So I thought that this would probably be cool if like uh, you want to watch something late at night and your wife and kids are asleep and you don't want to wake them up because you got the stereo on in the living room, but you want to use the nice TV that you spend a lot of money on. So this is a nice way to do that. Or if you're traveling, or if you're in school and you're in the library and you don't want to hear anyone else. So, um, yeah, definitely good for those things, especially like traveling on a plane where it's loud as heck. It's probably really annoying. You're probably going to need these. All right. Well, I will let you guys know what I think in a couple of days. And um, yeah, I'm going to test these out. There's a few scenarios that I could see that will be useful for having noise canceling headphones. Uh, one, if you're a student and you're in a lot of public places. Two, if you're on a plane, on a train, or you work in a very noisy environment. It's really nice to have noise canceling headphones too because the microphones on the headphones will listen to everything around you and then get rid of it with magic. These headphones, by the way, have the best noise cancellation that I've ever heard. I haven't really tried a lot of noise canceling headphones other than the Bose and the Beats, and these sound better than both. So just reading some stuff off the box, just so that you know like what they advertise and how true it is. Most of it is pretty true. So obviously they're wireless, they're Bluetooth, noise canceling, the two microphones up here. It has support for high res audio. I don't know what that means. I don't know what plays high res audio, but I put Spotify in extreme quality. So I would think that that means something. They got 30 hour battery life. I haven't worn them for 30 hours straight. So um, I, I just don't have time to test them for 30 hours straight. I just, I don't know how true that is, but I will say I've been using them for the past few days and they still haven't died. So that's a good sign. And they also have Google Assistant, which is one of the first things that the headphones set up when you connect it to your phone. So I have an iPhone, I connect it to my iPhone and instantly it asked me to set up Google Assistant and it asked me to download the app. 
Reason why I mentioned the app is because the app is pretty important. That's where you can adjust a couple things in the headset. So one at the bottom, I think it's like DSHHX, something like that. You'll see it when <laughs> you'll see it when you go to the app. But basically, it'll take your lower quality audio files and kind of upscale them to sound better. Um, I just leave it on because I want to listen to everything in the best quality possible. So if that's what it does, I hope it actually does that because I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference to be honest, because I'm not an audiophile. Then they have another setting that says prioritize your connection or prioritize sound quality. So that's actually really nice. Like maybe if you're at home or you're walking around your phone's in your pocket, you'll probably want to prioritize sound quality because that's what you care most about. But let's just say that you're out and about, you're walking around your house and you leave your phone somewhere or you're further away from the device that you're listening to it on, then it'll probably be a good idea to prioritize connection just to make sure that you don't get any drops when you're listening to your songs. Now they do have this really cool feature called ambient mode where it'll actually do the reverse of noise cancellation. Basically, it will turn on the microphones and let you hear what's going on around you if you wanna be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. Let's say that you're at home and you're cleaning up and you got your headphones on. Well, if you got your beats on, you know, if your mom calls your name, you're not gonna hear her. And so what these allow for is for you to listen to your music and get the best quality music playback and also hear everything that's going on around you. So if somebody calls your name, you're gonna be aware. And they also do have this really cool feature that if you put your hand over the right ear cup, it'll turn on the ambient mode, even if you have your noise canceling mode off. It'll drop your audio volume down way low, you'll still be able to hear it, but you'll also be able to hear what's going on around you. So if you thought that somebody called your name and you want to be like, hey, what's going on? Like, what do you, what do you need? And then you won't have to take off your headphones. Also, on the right ear cup is where all of your media controls are going to be. So swipe up or down for your volume, swipe left or right to fast forward and skip tracks and rewind and then you press in the middle for play pause and press and hold for google assistant and the google assistant even does work pretty well on iphone so if you have one i'm just saying you know, it doesn't really it doesn't use siri but it does use google assistant so now as far as the audio quality of the headphones the audio quality is actually really good it's very balanced it's not overly bass heavy and it's not very muddy but it's not very it's not like wearing astros where you get all clarity and no feeling you definitely feel a lot of the music when you're listening to these headphones it all comes across very clear it sounds like the way that it's intended to be heard honestly speaking i'm trying to think like what else can i say about the audio quality because it's just it's just so good i mean i don't, I don't know what else to tell you like it's it's better than beat studios it's a little bit better than Bose Quiet Comfort, so it's like, uh, I don't really know what to say. They're extremely good. That's all I got for you. <laughs> now, as far as comfort, these are A1 on comfort. So I was reading that the previous version of these had smaller ear cups, and I was like, oh my god, like those must have been horrible. I would not have. I probably would have bought them because I have big ears, and I need something that's gonna fully cover my ears. So when I put these on, these actually do 100% cover my ears. It goes around, it fits nicely, it's snug, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off of my head, but it's also really comfortable. I can see myself being on a plane for five, six hours, wearing these and not even having to think about taking them off because it really just feels like there's a pillow on both sides of your head. It fits really nicely too. Like, look, I got these on, I can barely hear myself because I got the noise cancellation on, but it fits really well. Uh, I was playing games with these. I wouldn't say that these are gaming headphones, if you know what I mean. They will work for gaming headphones. They do have the clarity, they do have the feeling, but the, it's definitely not my preference for playing video games. But these are more of like a music listening, chilling around the house type of deal. Now, as far as inputs, there is a headphone jack and there is a USB-C port. So you're gonna charge everything through USB-C. It comes with the USB-C cable in the box. And a 10 minute charge will get you about five hours of play time. So that's actually extremely good because if you really gotta go, throw it on the charger for 10 minutes, you'll be good to go. But the battery life is extremely long on these, so I highly doubt you'll probably ever really need to do that as long as you're responsible and you keep them charged maybe once or twice a week. Now, as far as design, I've looked at some pictures of the older versions and they looked a little bit bigger, but I guess because the ear cups are smaller in the older versions, I don't really care what they look like. They're not gonna be comfortable. These have a really nice matte black finish to them with some copper accents. 
I think they look cool. Only problem is with the matte black, um, I just wish it was a little bit more like hand oil resistant. Uh, some of your skin oils are very likely to get on your headphones. So you'll probably wanna keep a microfiber cloth with you uh clean your headset definitely every few days if you use it very often just to keep it looking nice they have like this nice leather material on the ear cups um i guess that is also really comfortable i don't know if it's real leather or not but it definitely feels like it so if it's not you fool me if it is good choice that is all that i have for you guys if you guys are actually interested in picking up this headset i will have amazon affiliate links below it helps the channel out so if you're interested in getting one feel free to buy it from there and help your boy out um yeah for 350 bucks maybe catching myself for 300 i don't know these are definitely uh, a really really good buy especially if you do a lot of traveling or if you work in a loud environment. Well, that's all I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you guys so much for coming through to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.